Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fallout Shelter. Alright, here we go. I haven't played this game since my first video, so I'm interested in finding out um, what's changed. Please stand by. Sell your weapons and outfits from your vault storage for caps. Yeah, I had about 99 caps when this was done, when the last episode was done, and I'm not sure how to get caps. But this episode, what I'm going to try to do is figure out where people should go in the vault. And I want to send some guys out to start looking for stuff. All right, here we go. I have no idea what's happening here. Okay. Oh, I guess I got an evaluation. 64%, so I got a D. That's not good. But I got, I got 50 caps. Yeah, I think you get an evaluation every day. Build additional storage rooms or upgrade your existing storage rooms to get more space. Okay, that's helpful. Oh right, yeah, let me look at my objectives. That's not that. Oh yeah, the ribbon one. Your most important resource is power. The more rooms you build, the more power you need. If your power gauge turns red, rooms start shutting down. A shut down room goes dark and won't produce resources. But you need better dwellers or rushing the power rooms. Okay. Yeah, that was one thing I wanted to look at. So you can see on the top here, my power is 24 out of 50. Food, I guess, isn't good enough, and water isn't good enough. So this isn't very good so far. And this living quarters is all dark. This one, oh, this is funny. Let me see. I started a knitting league. Did anyone sign up? So this lady looks like she's pregnant. If I can get her to move. Let's see. She's 100% happy. Oh yeah, right away and stim packs. Okay. In the game, right away takes away radiation and stim packs heal you. But I don't know if I really need that right now. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, you just click on it and you get stuff. Oh, uh, okay. So going back to this game, you can zoom in. This room is a power generator and you, generator, and you can see it has a special of S. Oops. S is strength. So let's click on these guys and see what their specials are. His special is strength. Her special is luck. So let's see if I can uh, reassign some of these guys. So water treatment is perception. He, this guy doesn't really have anything anything major here, but let's see. Okay, I'm looking for someone. Oh, this guy can level up. I don't know why, but he just leveled up. This one has luck. And the room needs agility. All right, this is confusing. Living quarters doesn't really matter. All right, so she has agility, but she's pregnant. I don't know if she's supposed to work. So I'm going to take her and drag her into here. Even though she's pregnant, sorry about that. So basically what I'm trying to do is reassign people to the, their proper places. She has perception and that was good for this room. So I'm going to reassign I don't know who. Him. Sorry, you're leaving. And you're going to go to the living quarters and you with a good perception are going to the water treatment plant. So this should make the room better. And this guy, I don't know, he's just going to hang out. So what I'm going to do with him, I'm going to send him outside. I haven't tried this yet. But apparently if you send him outside, you can go for weapons and stuff. Oh, I can give him things, but I don't have anything to give him. So he's going to go explore. Here we go. Make sure you equip your dwellers before sending them out to explore the wasteland. This will increase their chance of survival. Sorry, man, I don't have anything to give you, so good luck out there. This is so exciting. Oh, look, I got caps for sending somebody outside. I'm trying to zoom in here, but it's not really working. All right, well, hopefully he survives. I don't know. We'll see. So let's see who we have out here. This lady has a lot of luck. Actually, luck is supposed to be good for finding stuff, so I'm going to bring her inside here. He's moving out of the way. She's coming in. 
And this one has a lot of strength. Strength was good for, oh, these two guys level up too. I'm going to take her out because this power generator room is a good strength room. So she'd be a better fit someplace else. So I'm going to take her out and bring this lady in who has a lot of strength. Strength. All right. Now this room lost power. But the lady who had a lot of luck is going to go out for a walk. All right. That's that. So I don't know how I'm doing here, but let me look at my objectives first. Successfully rush one room. Collect 50 water. Collect 50 food. A D for yesterday. So hopefully these people will be okay out there. I'm just going to bring her inside for now. Put them in the living quarters and maybe show the baby too. So somehow I need, I don't, see, I don't know how these guys are leveling up, but I'm glad they are. I'm not really sure why they are. All right, let's see what's in here now. When you, here you can see and manage all the weapons and outfits you currently own, which is none. I have 10 storage space. This is survival guide. I've collected zero weapons out of 139, so that's not good. 90 outfits and 21 dwellers. I don't know why I have, don't have more dwellers. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start building more rooms. Now, from what I remember, if you have rooms next to each other, you can make them more efficient. This wasn't a good pl good start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what I can build here. Oh, I can upgrade for 250 caps. I don't know if I want to do that. So I want to click off of this and then hit the hammer button. Oh, living quarters is charisma. So if I build this, if I build this next to this room, oops. I don't know what happened there. In theory, oh yeah, see they merge together. So you can hold four people now. But you can see on the top the power generator is like low the power level is low. So I need to I also need to increase the power. Here's the water treatment room. All right, we have food. It would really be nice if I could move this room. Let's see how much does it cost to build a new room. 125 caps, which I don't have. Building two or three of the same type of room next to each other will merge them into bigger versions of the room. I right, hear someone. You have high strength. You have a decent charisma. So I'm going to bring you into the living quarters for now. Oh, I unlocked a room. Oh, because I have a certain number of people, I think. So let's see what I can get now. I can get a storage room. So that is a good room for endurance. And it costs 300 caps, which I don't have. So if you're watching this, how would you go about doing the how would you go about building this base? Right now I'm kind of stuck. I have 12 caps. I, have, I guess I have two people outside. I don't even know how you bring them back. Let's see what this is. That's nothing. And I have no idea how to get more stuff. All right, I got caps from her, but I want to see like how is this room doing? I'm going to try rushing it. Oh, I see. If I rush, there's a 29% chance of a fire. But I do get more experience points, and I do get more caps. So let me just try it. These two are working really hard. 
So now I have a lunchbox. All right, let's figure out what this lunchbox is. You just earned a lunchbox. Tap the lunchbox icon in the pip Boy menu to open your lunchbox or purchase additional lunchboxes. So I kind of want to see it, what that did. So I'm going to look at that. Unlock here. And what do I get? A playing card. Three playing cards. Oh, I got a weapon. A rusty 10 millimeter pistol. 100 caps. Rad away. And an officer uniform. Oh, that's cool. It adds two charisma and three intelligence. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to end this episode now. Um, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. I guess the guys who went outside, hopefully if they come back, I'll be able to give them a weapon. And let's see how everyone's doing here real quick before I stop. So he's just hanging out. I don't know what these guys are doing or may how to make them better. She's in the living quarters too all by herself. I feel bad. I'm going to send her back down, down here. She has amazing agility. She has one rat away. Oh, I see. All right, just got another lunchbox. So after I open this lunchbox, I'm going to end the episode. So let's see. I get food, 50 food, which is good. 100 caps, which is good. And something really shiny. Ooh, T-51D power armor. Now that's really powerful. So in the game of Fallout, there is a concept of this power armor, which was used in the war between... Um, I guess the United States and China. China in the in the Fallout w world is the is the country that we were fighting with with the nuclear war, and we developed this power armor, and it's really powerful. Oh, look at that sturdy battle armor. Okay, so I'm starting to get some good stuff here. All right, so that's how you get all the good stuff. I have 245 caps, and I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Actually, let me just see one more thing. Yeah, I can't even build that yet. All right, I'm going to close this like I said I was going to do. Please, um, I'd like to hear some comments about how I can make this video better. And I want to thank the people who liked and commented on the first video I did. I appreciate all the comments that I get. Thank you for watching.